Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some turkey pastrami sandwiches with some real Mexican queso and we're talking about how the Sandman cometh. So hey guys, once again we find ourselves with a delicious morsel before us. Check this out. I, uh, I've never had this type of meat but it, apparently it's a turkey that's been kind of made like a pastrami. And then I got some uh, roll bread and look at that beautiful Mexican queso. That's whole milk cheese with a little bit of mustard on there. And then we have our secret weapon of the day, Arby's horsey sauce. Probably backwards in the camera, but you know, you'll get it. Horsey sauce is horsey sauce. So let's open up this uh, little pack here and uh, We'll just slather this one on the top right here. Usually I like to add it like dab by dab, but <laughs> you know. We'll just put a pack on, see how it goes. With that tang from the horsey sauce, smother it around that cheese, get it in there nice and good, and we're ready to go. So, oh. Got it upside down. Check that out. Pastrami turkey, queso, mustard, the roll. Oh, that is fantastic. That turkey pastrami with that horsey and queso. Man, that is good. These are made at home, obviously, but whoa. Beats any uh, fast food restaurant sandwich by quite a long shot. Guys, have you ever had pastrami turkey or anything else other than pastrami pastrami? What other strange meats do you think make delicious sandwiches? Die in to know. Check out that uh, beautiful whole milk cheese, Mexican queso as it is. Fantastic. And our drink of the day is a little bit of cranberry juice. Just something to wash it all down with <clears throat> okay so guys let's talk about the Sandman because lately he's been hitting me up hard <laughs> yesterday I came home from work I wanted to get a bunch of stuff around the house done maybe do a few little uh, videos for you in in game but I laid on the couch and I just I don't know what happened I sat down for a minute laid down and then the world was dark. <laughs> the Sandman had visited me. And man, guys, have you ever had that experience where you're just like, you're ready to do something, you're ready to get some work done, and then boom, you're out, you're gone. My, my wife actually woke me up about three hours later, came in, tapped me on the forehead. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know. I. I just literally passed out. 
And that's not good, guys. That's definitely not good. That's a sign of pure exhaustion. Like, you're pushing yourself a little bit too hard when, when stuff like that happens. Especially for, like, students, when you're studying, when you're cramming at, you know, whatever you're doing, studying, doing labs all day, if you're a college student, and you're just gone. You're just gone. <laughs> it's probably actually kind of dangerous for your body because uh, when that starts to happen, you know you're at a level beyond just tired. But anyways, let me know your experiences with the Sandman, and let's uh, let's layer this bun with some more horse horsey sauce. Also, um, a lot of streamers on Twitch and YouTube they stream late at night. Like a lot of people work during the day, they have a day job, and they work really hard, and then they go home and they stream. Hold on a second, guys. I guess just show you that queso. Look at that. That's beautiful. Pastrami queso, a thing of wonder. Pastrami turkey, actually, yeah. But anyways, yeah. They work. A lot of YouTubers work, and then they do their YouTube thing or their Twitch thing. And you see people passing out at their keyboard, just drowsy as all hell, and... It's ridiculous, guys. What is the internet doing to society? Everyone's trying to, you know, get their passion and their following, but it's not good when you do that. It's really, really not good. Overexertion can kill, can lead to various health problems. Let's check this out. Uh-huh. Just as good as the previous. Still delicious. Still amazing. Surprisingly, turkey pastrami doesn't really taste like turkey. It just tastes like uh, pastrami. A lighter version of pastrami, but still pastrami. We as gamers also have to realize that when we are on long, long binge sessions of gaming, you got to take breaks. You got to relax. You got to rest. Uh, a lot of video games don't put it in there anymore, but games used to have all these warnings about take a break, take a rest. Uh, World of Warcraft had it, you know? On a splash loading screen, you'd see. Remember to relax. Take a break every hour for 15 minutes or whatever. And there's a reason. There's a, there's a strong, strong reason for that. Because the human body was not meant to go, 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 go all the time. You got to have your ups and your downs. Kind of like um, your sino wave there. Oh, okay. Whew. This is so good, guys. So good. Let me know your comments in the comments about some times that you've pushed yourself a little too hard when it comes to gaming, because I bet you everyone has that story. Or you could just tell me a time where your work life pushed you to the limit and you just couldn't deal with it. Too much stress, too much uh, lack of sleep. And uh, being a student, you, we, we always have a lack of sleep because you're always out doing something. The Sandman is a tricky master.
All right, guys, there you go. I really think the uh, horsey sauce pulled the entire thing together, made it extraordinary. Well, good luck in your battles with the Sandman. I'd love to hear about it again. Remember to game, eat, and discuss, and I will catch you guys in the next one.